Hi everybody, I'm coming to you at week 24 for VSG post-op. How is all my lovelies out there today watching this video? I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, uh, it is week 24, so I'm going to go straight into stats and then we'll talk. Uh, uh, July 2nd, I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery um, of this year, July 2nd, 2015. My starting weight was 220. My pre-op diet, I got down to 208. My surgery date weight was 208. I got into the Wonderlands the first two months. And I am just past five months now. Last week I came to you, I think I was about 157. This week I have no idea. I am at the hospital. My son admitted into the hospital due to chemotherapy side effects. So um, I weigh myself on their scales. And their scales are at least two to three pounds more than what my bathroom scales say. So I don't go by the hospital scales here. I mean, I can look on it. I mean, it says 159 on their scale. So I assume that I'm 157, 156. That's what I'm assuming. So I'm having my husband, he's coming this weekend. He's going to be bringing my scale <laughs> so I can have my scale. Because last week I talked to you about the scale being my best friend and me not knowing, especially when I want to report back to you guys, I need to know. My pants are uh, fitting a lot looser. My size 12s, let me try to see if I can scoot you guys back. My size 12s are a lot looser. Uh, these are size 12s, and look at this. So I'm headed down to a size 10. This is my tummy, this is how I'm looking. Um, which is great. I love the fact that my pants are fitting looser. I am feeling healthier, although right now I don't look it because I have lack of sleep here in the hospital right now, which happens when you're a mama with a kid with cancer. So I look like the queen of the dead right now. I look like I just woke up from the dead. I could very well be a, a zombie. <laughs> Um, so, but I, other than that, I have been feeling a lot healthier than I used to. I have, um, uh, been struggling with obstructive sleep apnea. I keep forgetting to tell you, um, I had a recent sleep apnea test to see if it went away. And unfortunately, I still have obstructive sleep apnea. I thought losing weight was going to help it. And it didn't and I don't know what to do and I'm gonna have to be on a CPAP the rest of my life and I didn't want that and uh, that was one of the reasons why I had weight loss surgery it wasn't due to weight apparently I guess it's the I've got a fat tongue do I have a fat tongue to you <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because my tongue gets it gets so relaxed that it lodges to the back of my throat and causes me to stop breathing so having air being pushed through my nostrils keep the, keeps the tongue forward so I um, can breathe correctly. So I sit kind of upwards um, when I sleep. I sleep a lot better when I'm sitting upwards and not flat. Um, that helps keep the tongue rested downwards and not going to the back of my throat. So um, sleeping upwards has its, its perks, but it's very uncomfortable at times. So I don't, I don't know if anybody has any suggestions. I really don't want to be on a CPAP the rest of my life. That's something that was very disappointing to me. I've been severely emotional these last couple of days. Emotions and stress have been getting to me. And I've noticed that I am stress eating. Even though I only eat small amounts, I know I'm eating bigger than I normally do. Um, there is possibility that you can stretch your stomach with the vertical sleeve, but it always retracts and it goes back down. You just can't continue to consume s severe amounts because the more you consume severe amounts, the more it's going to hold, stretch, and stay. So like if I eat a, cons a big consumption of food and then minute, you know, an hour later, another big consumption of food, another hour later, a big consumption of food, the food will just stay in there and continue to stretch the stomach. Whereas if I only do it once and it stretches a little bit, it'll, it'll retract itself like a balloon. So it'll go back down. So yes, there is a possibility. So 
Um, one of the main reasons why I got this surgery is not because just health is but because I have a problem with stress eating. I'm sitting in here, you know, eating my Parmesan cheese. Yes, it has protein. Oh my God, I'm so addicted to shaved Parmesan cheese. I can't eat enough of this. Um, and then I eat my Power Crunch bars. These are absolutely delicious. They are like wafer type and they're crunchy so they're not yucky chewy and they're so delicious peanut butter is my favorite if you want some i get them at safeway or walmart uh i've been stress eating and i noticed that my intake is more than what it usually is i'm eating a lot more usually i can eat uh half a bar this is three quarters of one but i can usually eat half a bar and be full well yesterday i ate a whole bar just eating and eating and i'm going oh my dear goodness no wonder why I had this surgery because if I didn't, I'd still be on the downhill on this whole thing. So I told you I'm very emotional right now. Going what we go through is is actually kind of typical to feel feels. <laughs> so um, it, it, it's been very... Uh, stressful to know that I'm eating more and I don't like that at all so it makes me feel more emotional because I don't want to be back in the old patterns I used to be so the struggle is real you guys weight loss surgery is not the easy way out it's just another course uh, I heard somebody say I don't remember who said it and if you said it thank you so much I'm gonna repeat what you said but it's just another way of getting out of a dangerous life. And let's just say you were caught in a fire in a household. There's only, you know, doors and windows, a fireplace, you know, etc. There's ways to get out. A lot of people take the doors. The, the, the door is um, a way out of the fire to get out of that fire in the house. Us weight loss surgery patients just choose another route. We choose a window or a fire escape just to get out of the danger zone. So some people will exercise to get out and they lose weight and some of us can't. We can't get to that door because the fire is too big and the fire is too outrageous that it blocks that door and so we have to find another way out. And taking the window is another way out. And so it's not easy to take this window. You have to squeeze yourself in there and work your way out of this window. And it is work. It is work. You have to eat right. You have to exercise. You have to. And yeah, we lose weight faster, but it's not easier. So and it's, it is... It can happen to where you go back to your old habits if you do not change your lifestyle. So changing this lifestyle, it, is, it, it, it has been a struggle for all of us. And it's, it was easy the first couple of months, but it's starting to get harder and harder to maintain what I want to do and get to my goal weight. And because I've become a slow loser, the goal weight seems a little bit harder and harder. At first it was easy, but now it's not. So to come to reality, um, I think it's just clicking in my brain that um, I just don't want to get back to my old habits on eating the old ways and stressing out and stress eating, you know? Sorry, this piece of hair is bugging me. I have to put it up. <laughs> um, and I don't want to stress eat. And I, I feel like I have no choice because I have nothing else. I, I am stress, even though I'm stress eating, I'm stress eating healthfully I'm not making bad choices I just feel like I'm consuming more than I usually do so I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't mean to cry I'm just very emotional <laughs> you know I'm drinking my protein premier premier proteins I've got my power crunch pro, uh, protein bars I'm eating string cheese parmesan cheese and sometimes soups yesterday I had that lobster and I was surprised I was even able to finish it I'm just consuming more and that scares the poo poo out of me and I wish it did actually. <laughs> I'm constipated right now, I haven't moved in a week. <laughs> so um, anyhow, um, I wanted to make sure I came in and updated you guys. The struggle is real man, the struggle is real and um, it's not always rainbows and it's not easy. It really isn't easy. I make it look easy on most of my videos. It really isn't easy. And I wanted to let you guys know. And I wanted to be real with you guys. 
that this is not easy. And um, we have our days where we struggle and I know I'll get past this and I know that things may get easier, but it's not easy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I kind of uh, went on a weird path on this video, but I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support and your love and your comments. And I love watching you guys. And um, if you have a YouTube channel and, and I have not subscribed yet, let me know in the comments. I will come subscribe to you. And uh, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. We will see you next Thursday after Christmas. OMG. I have some New Year's things I want to talk about. So may, wait, next Thursday is Christmas. So I'm just going to say Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> All the above. Love you guys. We'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Bye.